Ukrainian defense forces struck three Russian ammunition depots overnight, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported on Saturday. The first arsenal, which is among three largest ones in Russia, was hit in southern Krasnodar region and is one of the key arsenals in the logistics system of Russian invaders. At the moment of the attack, there was an echelon delivering more than 2,000 tons of ammunition, including from the North Korea. In addition, Ukrainian forces attacked Podlet radar station. Satellite images show that the nearby airfield has also caught fire. The second Russian ammunition depot that came under Ukrainian attack is located near Oktyabrsky settlement in Tver region. The arsenal of the main artillery directorate of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation by State Security Service of Ukraine. Fire and explosion took place in the areas of both military arsenals. Furthermore, the State Security Service of Ukraine reported that its drones hit an airfield and ammunition depot in the Kaluga region of the Russia. The ammunition depot stored artillery and missile weapons for the Iskander Operational Tactical Missile Systems and the Tochkayu Tactical Missile Systems. The drones also hit the Shaikovka airfield, where Tu-22M strategic aviation aircraft are stationed. The strike caused fire not only in warehouse, but also in the area north of the Tykoretsk military airfield. On the night of September 21, there was a drone attack on the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. Ukraine's drones attacked an ammunition depot belonging to the Russian army in Kameny settlement of Tykoret district. As a result, an explosion and fire occurred in the warehouse. The warehouse is said to contain North Korean-made ammunition. The regional head confirmed the drone attack. According to him, two drones were intercepted by air defense and electronic warfare forces, but the debris from one of them caused a fire, which spread to explosive materials, resulting in detonation. The governor also stated that a temporary evacuation of residents to nearby populated areas is underway. A temporary accommodation center will be established in Tykoretsk. Preliminary information indicates that there are no casualties among residents. The Leopard 1 tanks that are being transferred to Ukraine were decommissioned by European countries in the 1980s and have been in open-air storage for a long time. So the vehicles are in poor condition and must undergo major repairs before they can be returned to service. The tanks reportedly played a key role in Kyiv's highly anticipated counteroffensive, providing close combat support and protecting soldiers from Russian attacks. Recently, Ukraine has showcased its newly upgraded Leopard 1A5 V tanks, marking the first public demonstration of these modernized Cold War-era machines. 
The upgraded tanks, now part of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 5th Separate Tank Brigade, were displayed in photos and videos shared by the Ukrainian military. The tanks have been fitted with additional armor and protective screens to counter the growing threat of enemy FPV drones on the battlefield. The enhancements include explosive reactive armor covering the entire frontal projection of the vehicle, including the lower frontal plate, turret, and side hull. The turret hull connection, a vulnerable point, has also received extra protection. According to Defense Express, a key feature of the upgrade is a comprehensive mesh screen system, designed to reduce the effectiveness of enemy drones during combat. These defenses offer an added layer of security for the crew, who face increasing challenges from advanced unmanned aerial systems used by Russian forces, recall, the Leopard 1 was the first tank that Germany built after the Second World War. The tank expert highlighted numerous factors that have contributed to the Leopard's renowned reliability. Later versions of the tank received more levels of armor protection resulting in a boxy-shaped turret and an angular arrow pointed on some of the later models. It is perhaps the continual upgrading program for German-manufactured Leopards that gives them an edge in terms of sustainability compared to the British Challenger 2.